hello virgo welcome to your november reading this is for virgo sun moon rising and venus please make sure you check all your placements to oop, get a clear picture of what's going on for you this month now as always this is a general reading it may or may not resonate for all of you please take only what resonates and leave the rest behind in this reading i will be uh focusing how many is that no too many i will be focusing on your general energy as well as love and career just to get a clear overview uh of the month yeah two is good <clears throat> so your archetype we have the temple and the crone let's get you a monology and a wisdom of the oracle and then we'll pull out your tarot it's time to take action new moon in aries all right never ending story okay let's talk about these real quick so with your crone archetype it's a very scorpionic plutonic card which is quite perfect since we are in november um this archetype talks about embracing the part of yourself that has seen it all okay because i don't know if you believe in past lives but well i do so i'm going to speak to you from um you know that particular viewpoint i feel like as souls we have been through a lot not just within this lifetime but in previous lifetimes as well this archetype asks you to embrace that part of yourself that rejects nothing that has seen everything that has a difficult time tolerating superficial and petty things and day to day things it asks you to tap into that part of yourself that is very very deep and dark and mysterious and scary sometimes you know so i feel like you, okay it's very interesting that you have the temple as well i'm going to relate the two and tell you but um it this talks about trusting your intuition it talks about being wise and knowing that you are a divine being and you can conquer anything and it's asking you to not be afraid of the dark it's asking you to not be afraid of your own shadow and the shadows of the people around you okay i'll explain how this is related now the temple is a beautiful archetype it talks about having a sanctuary within your own self okay it's about um revering everything including your own body revering everything in creation and it it when i was reading the book i remember there was this one particular line that caught my eye and it said um something like what do you spend most time on or what do you spend most time worshiping um and it would say your phone your tablet money material goods what do you worship and uh, what barriers are drawn between you and whatever you consider sacred you know it's a very deep energy it's a very deep card but I think it's a great time to understand that now since we are in Scorpio season maybe you need to let go of the superficial you need to let go of the petty you need to let go of things that are mundane and day to day does that make sense uh who was i watching i was watching this astrologer Christopher Witeki so he describes Scorpio season very beautifully So he said beginning of November we take a jump we dive into the ocean okay take a deep dive all through the month we are diving and we are swimming deep under water and while we're swimming we're cutting out things that don't serve us cutting out things that don't serve our highest good so we're cutting 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 towards the end of the season we come up refreshed energized and ready to start a new without that old baggage without things that are not good for us so i think both your archetypes are talking about that they're talking about bringing depth to your environment to your life purpose in general now never ending story i feel like there could be something related to your relationships or even your career where you're having to repeat cycles over and over again and i've mentioned this in my um readings before 
the universe will keep throwing lessons at you okay they're lessons they the universe will keep throwing situations at you um till you learn those lessons till you realize why you are being uh, put in those situations over and over again right once you learn those lessons is once when is is when you will break that cycle and where the story ends so again very scorpionic energy i feel like you need to get out of a rut there is something that's been weighing you down and it is it's a very 10 of wands energy it's an energy of having to put those wands down and start a new life okay and only you can do this and once you embrace the fact that now is the time to do it november in all the years this year and the ones previously is one of the most powerful months okay because like i said it is an it brings about that energy of unapologetic transformation transformation that is needed okay now it's time to take action when did uh scorpio moved into mars sorry mars moved into scorpio end of october so right now everything that you are going to be taking action on anything that you f- you're, you're going to be feeling passionate about is going to be very dark is going to be very mysterious is going to also be difficult but if you keep being scared of that particular process it's going to be a never ending story you will keep repeating that cycle be brave get out of your shell and make the changes that you need to make okay um let's get your tarot i'm going to pull out three cards for your general energy three for career and three for love and if i need to clarify i will king of pentacles knight of pentacles lots of pentacles your focus is stability Okay. Let's get Korea. The page of cups. Oh, wow. Okay. Three of pentacles. Six of pentacles. You have a lot of pentacles, Virgo. Okay. These are your love cards. We have the page of pentacles. We have the ten. Okay, how many pentacles are you going to get? You only have pentacles. You only have one cup card. What is going on? And we have the nine of cups. You have two cup cards, and the rest are all pentacles. Figures. I mean, you're an earth sign, so I wouldn't expect anything else. Okay. So. Four of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles. You are very slowly and meticulously moving through this month. You are not taking any risks. You are not um, jumping into anything. Okay. I want to see what you're holding on to so tightly. Let's clarify the Four of Pentacles. Oh, oh, my God! Did you see that? If you guys are upset right now, I would ask you to. Cool the jets, because you're affecting my cards. Okay, we have the sun and the wheel of fortune. Please excuse me. That was very chaotic. All right, I feel like your happiness and your success is of paramount importance at the moment. I want to clarify the Knight of Pentacles. we have the three of swords all right there was pain there was heartbreak somewhere and i feel like that has slowed you down a little bit and that's a very earth sign thing to do um you you guys shut down okay um every earth sign i know they go into hermit mode and that's not always a bad thing sometimes that alone time is is wonderful because earth signs in general are very very wise um you know so i feel like whatever it is you were after if you haven't achieved it yet 
because of a particular episode that could have transpired for you i would look forward to things changing for the better let's clarify career and love and then we'll see what this could be regarding we have the ten of wands yeah Did, remember i said ten of wands energy it's showed up for you nine of cups again four of swords mm strength right okay so when it comes to career i feel like there is something that you've had enough of maybe there was some kind of unfairness or maybe there were too many responsibilities being put on you that you couldn't handle um and that's making you want to just give up because um i literally feel like virgo you need some time off because with the four of swords you need that rest and relaxation you need some r and r um because with the three of pentacles under that maybe the load that you were carrying was not being shared there was no teamwork and the six of pentacles i feel like you can look forward to people being more generous with their time the queen of swords I think what you need to do is is to have a clear and open conversation Virgo. You need to be direct, you need to be focused and you need to be very very logical and practical about this. Because um people are not mind readers, right? And you like most earth signs will take on more than you can handle. Okay? And sometimes people can take advantage of that. You need to put your foot down you need to realize that your wishes will be fulfilled once you get time to heal and rest and someone needs to take over for you this is not quite specific okay it's not going to resonate for everyone temperance yeah see that complacent energy that energy of not doing nothing <laughs> is that energy of just kind of like balance peace bringing harmony into the situation so Yeah, I think it's time for you to rest. High time, Virgo. I feel. All right. Oh, I just paid attention to your love reading. Beautiful. Wow. You have the Page of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Nine of Cups. I almost don't want to clarify, but I have to have something to tell you. I can't just say it's all sunshine and roses because that's what it looks like right now. See, even the cards don't want to. Okay, fine. I'm not going to force it. there is some kind of offer coming your way and the page of pentacles can be somebody who is a little immature could be someone younger than you um but it is someone who has the potential to stay someone who is curious enough to figure out what makes you tick and comply okay not in a weak way but in a i want to make this work kind of way and that look at that jump there is a massive jump from here to the 10 of pentacles This person if you give it a chance Virgo has immense potential to make you very very happy because for you guys you know if the 10 of cups showed up you'd probably roll your eyes you guys would probably appreciate the 10 of pentacles more because not only is that emotional fulfillment it is also stability it is also that financial um not financial i would say it's a very structured kind of life it's like you you you'll you'll want for nothing you know it's the perfect family life the perfect life with your partner so i feel like this person is coming with that energy of of having that potential and with the 9 of cups again your wishes will be fulfilled i feel like this is what you've been wanting all along so what i'm getting here virgo is that firstly you need to realize that something needs to come to an end and i think that has to do with your roles in your career okay you need to put an end to taking on so many responsibilities you need to take a break right because then you will be stuck in that never ending cycle if you if you don't start delegating right treat your body as a temple and you need to retreat and rest uh when it comes to your general energy i think your focus needs to be on happiness your focus needs to be on the sun stop trying to bend over backwards for people who wouldn't lift a finger for you 
Virgo. Okay, because the three of swords here, I feel like I don't think you're somebody who uh, I can say this to. I mean, so I say this a lot. Expectation always leads to disappointment. I feel like you don't really expect much from people, and that probably leads to disappointment as well. Because you know, you're just so willing to do so much that you don't realize that, like I said, people will take advantage, and eventually that's gonna hurt. You know, so. Take a break and when it says it's time to take action, I think that has to do more with your love life because um, the person coming in is a little slow at the moment, okay? And if you want things to speed up a little bit, I would recommend you make the first move. That's all I'm getting from this, okay? So I would look forward to November if I was you and I would look forward to using up those uh, leave days or whatever you call them. <laughs> so yeah maybe take a little break go on a holiday okay have a lovely november virgo i will see you soon